A while ago while I was recording, while I was filming one of my videos, I was reminded by this beautiful, universal, scientific law that governs all energies in existence. And I realized how much of a perfect analogy it is to our spirituality, to our spiritual being. And this law is the law of therm is the law of entropy, which is one of the laws of thermodynamics. The law of entropy basically indicates that any energy available within a system, available for use within a system, decreases against time. So that more that so that as time goes by, the energy available for use within a system decreases. Or the other definition that I like is that chaos decreases with time. Uh, chaos increases with time. So there is less and less order as time goes by within any energetic system. And this is portrayed in many different examples. One example could be as entropy is basically measured from zero to one. Zero being no chaos whatsoever. So perfect energy, perfect energy being perfectly used within a system and one being absolute chaos. Meaning, as a glass is sitting on a table idle, as you have a glass of water, an empty glass sitting on a table, its entropy is almost zero, which means that all of the energy within this system, within this glass, is being used to formulate the shape of that empty glass. Now, as you're pushing that glass towards the edge of the table, its entropy starts increasing towards one gradually as you push it off the edge of the table and now it's in free fall towards the ground its entropy is rapidly increasing towards one and when it hits the ground its entropy becomes one and what that means is that all of the energy that was being used to formulate the shape of that glass within that system is now not being used for any purpose it's just wasted energy because energy is essentially the same except now it is the energy within that system is not being used for any purpose it's absolutely shattered another example could be that light bulb that keeps getting dimmer and dimmer with time as it ages it keeps getting dimmer so essentially the energy is still there but the energy put to use decreases with time a more grandiose a more macro example from on the macro scale and it's perhaps the best example that describes entropy the astronomical one with that started with the big bang and it is believed that at the big bang the entropy was zero who knows whatever was at the big bang or before the big bang and seconds after the big bang happened the entropy increased rapidly towards one it did not hit one however and as the universe continues to expand, entropy keeps getting closer and closer towards one until absolute expansion, whatever that means, and entropy is going to hit one, which means all of the energy that's keeping everything together, that's keeping the universe warm, that's keeping the stars lit, that's keeping the planets circulating, is not going to be used anymore, and the universe will fall apart. So all of the energies within the, that universal system is not be, being put to use any longer and that's what entropy is at one absolute chaos thing is is it is irreversible so you cannot reverse the process of entropy remember that glass that fell off the ground and it's shattered in pieces you cannot put it back and it has less entropy so entropy only increases or it just holds it remains still it remains at a specific number and that happens at the absolute the, com the absolute zero which is zero degrees Kelvin or negative 273 degrees Celsius and the reason this is important so for example if the universe would to expand and it reaches the collective temperature of the universe reaches the absolute zero entropy would come to a halt and there was no there would be no more chaos there would be no more chaos as time goes by 
Similarly, if that glass sitting idle on a table was in an, un in an environment of absolute zero, meaning the surrounding temperature was absolute was zero degrees Kelvin, the entropy would, abs would remain exactly the same no matter even if it fell off the ground and it would shatter. However, it wouldn't really shatter because the ice would be so strong it would be, and it's unlikely to shatter that block of an ice of the glass. Even if it shatters, the entropy is still going to be close to zero and it would not increase. And the beauty of this is that what happens to us? Because normally as we grow up, as we age, our entropy is increasing as well. Our The energy within our system that's being put to use, that's available to put to use, is getting less and less with time, meaning it's harder for us to, to work, it's harder for us to put effort, it becomes harder for us to do strength work stuff that relies on energy that relies on stamina that relies on even mental energy we get less and less creative probably as we age that's not always the case i'll mention why in just a second but that's the majority of people you become more burdened with life you have sucked up all of these things and you've gave up your energy you gave up much of your energy and now you have less and less to actually produce what to actually invest with in yourself and rem remember something that all that i'm talking all that i'm mentioning now is within the physical realm within the 3d matrix this 3d reality because in our spiritual aspect from our sp in in our spiritual being all of the laws of the universe comes to a halt there and basically we're not bound we're inbound by any of the by none of the physical or universal 3d laws so the laws of physics don't act don't is not really relevant when we are living through the spirit when we are living in our spiritual higher self and so that means that you can actually create energy from beyond you can actually increase your energy energy from beyond although your energy decreases as you grow older you could actually get more energy the more you are connected to your higher self the more you are aware of your truth the more you remember who you truly are and your connection to the collective your oneness your connection to source and god basically and so the other thing is that when we reach absolute zero entropy comes to a halt and what that means imagine you reaching the absolute zero within your system within your mind within your heart within your soul within your body and that absolute zero i mean we've all heard about the stories about many stories we've all read the texts about people or gurus sitting in meditation for days on end for i've read before about 15 days i read even 30 days i guess 20 so anywhere between 10 15 20 30 days you know anyway it's anything more than a day anything more than several hours is way too much but more than a day two days three days that becomes in a sense um supernatural and so what's happening there does their entropy comes to a halt and that's why they don't they're not any longer reliant on food they're not reliant on water they're not reliant on body movement because if you do that and you're just normal you know you're just casually doing that and you're in your normal state of being first of all you'll need water and food second of all you will need to sleep third of all you will need to move because your body if you sit in a specific position in a, in one position for a long time your body is going to be paralyzed and you might have permanent paralysis within many different parts in your body and so this is technically impossible however what if this is defying all the universal laws this is defying defying all the laws of physics and even all the biological laws because they're not any longer reliant on food they're not relying on water so on and so forth and what I believe is happening there is that entropy comes to a halt once you reach to that absolute zero within yourself. What does it mean to reach that absolute zero within yourself? It means that your mind is no longer reacting to the external environment, that your being, that what you are perceiving 
is that you're not aging with time and that means that any experiences that you are experiencing anything that you're going through is actually not impacting you it's actually not leaving a mark in you it's not affecting you whatsoever and that what and this is what it means to be present this is what it means to be absolutely still not just bodily but even mentally still and that's why I realize that it's the perfect analogy because think about this if you are still if you are absolutely Zen in your state and if you are not reacting to stress factors you're not reacting to fear factors you're not reacting to sadness you're not reacting to anything that really anything negative that bothers you within your external environment or that happens within you it means that you are just absolutely calm you're at that state think about yourself when you're in that meditative state and you reach those higher brainwave states the theta the delta while you are while you remain awake how are you feeling you're absolutely calm you're not reliant even the time factor starts to dissipate with as as you get go deeper and deeper into that state so now you're not even bound by time and that's living present that's the essence of being present because when you are present you're not attached to the past you're not regretful of the past and you're not expecting anything from the future and that means that you're not living within your ego that you're not a living ego because the ego is always living in the past it wants to change this thing about the past and it wants to expect that thing in the future it wants to create and it wants to put the effort it wants to make something happen in the future and when you disconnect detach from those two aspects you're detaching from the ego within yourself and now you're just in your higher state of being, in your higher dimensional being, in your higher self, in perfect alignment with your true higher self, with source, with pure consciousness, the one source of energy and existence. And doing that, being in that state, do going through that process, it means that time is not affecting you any longer and as you age you're going to be able to create more and as you age you're not affected by the entropy and the energy within your system is still in perfect shape is still perfectly being put to use and in fact you're actually the more the time goes by you're actually reversing entropy you're even getting more and more energetic because you're going more and more deeper you're learning more you're becoming you're remembering yourself more you're learning about yourself more you're knowing you're becoming more and more aligned with your truth and if you're able to maintain that throughout the duration of the day throughout the duration of the weeks of the months of the years not only when you're in meditation but rather all the time then it means that you are not bound you're unlimited by the universal laws by the laws in this physical reality by the laws of physics and the laws of biology the laws of chemistry whatever and that's how you know it popped to me that this is actually the perfect analogy because entropy ceases to be at an absolute zero and to us the at that absolute zero is when you're absolutely cold not necessarily apathetic or lazy or you know indifferent but you're just you know who you truly are and from that sense of calmness from that sense of trust belief you are not really in reaction to anything that happens sure i mean all of us do react you know especially when it when something first happens some of us you know decrease the the, the time of this reaction so the duration of how, how long do we react is less between different people but all of us almost react when it first happens you know and imagine so imagine what it would be like if you're not even reacting something you know you receive that bad news you receive negative news and you're in an unreactive state because as if you are in that meditation the whole time you know imagine yourself in that really deep meditative state in that theta delta brainwave state and you receive you know that whatever news that it you won't really be reacting and so if you're maintaining that throughout your time throughout your life your entire life it means you are in a non-reactive state it means you're not living by your ego you're not bound by the ego you're just being present you're aware of your truth you're aware of your connection to what's beyond and that means you are living you're not bound by the laws of this matrix of the maya because you are living according to your true self that's actually living in not in, in higher dimensional that that's actually existent in higher dimensional 
you are one with source you are one with pure consciousness with just pure conscious intelligent energy and you're creating from that energy you're living from that energy so you're not bound by your body you're not bound by your physicality you're not bound by the energy within this 3d system but rather from what that's what's beyond which is infinite which is your infinite potential which holds infinite possibilities which holds infinite energy infinite consciousness and that's how it's really beautiful that's why you know when you ponder upon things when you ponder over those such concepts and you re you see that contrast you realize how beautiful spirituality is you realize you realize how beautiful it is to know how to live according to the spirit to be one with your spirit to be one with your pure conscious energy and so if you are in that still state if you are able to maintain that stillness that presence that oneness you are now as time goes by you're actually going against entropy which is something thought to be impossible because you know according to the universal laws to physics laws it's impossible to reverse entropy because it's impossible to reverse time so you cannot bring back that glass of, that of, of, of shattered pieces and formulate a perfect glass out of those shattered pieces that light bulb that kept getting dimmer and dimmer is not gonna, going to get any brighter unless you change the bulb. That universe is not going to suddenly reverse and start, well, although that's one of the theories, hypothetically, but yeah, generally, it's not gonna happen. But now you are actually being more creative. You have more energy to expand. You have more energy to create and you have more energy to put effort to to act with your physical power as you grow older and that means you're not bound by this 3d reality that's all i wanted to share for today thank you so much for tuning in to another video by af's conscious frequency if you learned something if you found this helpful please don't forget to like it because it helps the video find its way to many others who might actually need it thank you